Hello guys and welcome back to another vlog. Please excuse this horrific lesion on my face. It is the remnants of a cold sore, which is disgusting. It is scorching hot today. It's a Saturday. I just went and got a pedicure with my mum. Completely forgot to film it. Sorry about it. I'm gonna start the vlog here. It is Halloween weekend. So exciting. I just went to Dan Murphy's and picked up some peach liqueur because the girl's coming over tomorrow, which is Halloween. Halloween's on Sunday, and I'm gonna get right into it, I think. I'm gonna do Halloween-themed drinks, some Halloween-themed snacks. I think we're actually going out to brunch, so that'll be really fun. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have a bit of a pool day, and we're gonna watch some scary movies, and it's gonna be awesome. I actually went to the movies last night and saw Halloween Kills, which was amazing. I'm not usually a scary movie kind of gal, but I do really like like the classics. Like I loved Halloween, which was like the 1970s version with Jamie Lee Curtis, and it's actually like all the same characters. So it's actually so impressive. Like it's 50 years later and it's like the storyline just follows and it's so good, so I like highly recommend. But there's also one set in 2018, so watch that first, anyway getting off topic I'm sweating up a storm if this vlog goes how I want it to go today's gonna be a great day <laughs> I'm gonna go into the city and hopefully pick something up if they still have it I got a text being like your little unicorn has arrived and then I replied and I was like sorry for the delay because I was at work yesterday is it still there and they didn't reply to me and then I called them and they didn't answer so I'm literally going into the city and they might not have it there but fingers crossed they do fingers crossed they do So this is the fit. I dressed up a little bit because I don't get out much. I'm wearing my little Chanel drop pearl earrings. This cute little dress, which I have no idea where it's from, sorry. My Louis Vuitton Anna bag. My Espadries from Chanel. And I'm pretending like my back is a normal situation. I'm so excited. So devastated. The bag sold. Oh my goodness. That's what I get for being too slow. It's packed though. Chanel is just absolutely popping off. Basically, it sold as soon as it came in, and that was like two days ago. So, a bit of a shame. Um, I mean, I get that they're busy. The sales associate wasn't the most helpful. I sort of had to prompt her and be like, oh, it's is they're the same bag but in a different hardware color or the same bag but in a different size can i please see that like she wasn't overly helpful pleasant yes but not overly helpful um there was the exact bag that i'm wanting i originally wanted in my mind gold hardware so i don't like the silver however there is a rose gold hardware and if you know me you know that i love rose gold and pretty much all my jewelry is rose gold but there was another customer who was trying it on. So I'm gonna go to Cartier now and come back to Chanel and hopefully, hopefully that customer didn't buy the rose gold one because I would love to try it on. I didn't even really consider it, but it just makes sense because um, I don't ever wear yellow gold. So it doesn't really make sense for me to get yellow gold. Oh my God, I'm really puffed. All right, so I mean, worst case scenario, Cartier doesn't have what I want either, but I'm pretty sure they will, hopefully, in my size. So I'm super excited for that. executive decision to walk home because it's literally just across this bridge and it started to rain. 
Ooh. I'm really hoping it's just under this cloud, but I, my mum just texted me and she said there's like severe thunderstorms. Oh, it's like raining, raining. I have my bags. Totally fine. I was like, oh, should, should I take an Uber? And it's ridiculous too because it's less than a kilometer away. But I'm just now getting rained on. Okay, I'm back home. I am wet and I'm sweating because despite the rain and the clouds, it's about 35 degrees. Yeah, look, the bags aren't in the best state, but thankfully they're just bags. Cardia really like turned it up. Like, I think they're like a waterproof, like they're not paper. And it's just like, it's just rippling off there. It's totally fine. I'm gonna have a large drink of water. Have a shower. And then I'm gonna sit down and unbox what I got. I'm so happy with the day. It didn't turn out how I expected. I'm missing a little something, something from Chanel, but that's okay. Everything happens for a reason. I'm gonna go and sort out my sweaty self. Be right back. You can't really see anything. And that's what a tropical storm looks like. I'll show you guys. It's so hot though. Like I just had a cold shower and I've got the aircon on like 19 degrees. How crazy is that? We've been getting a lot of storms lately. But yeah, I'm very glad that I'm inside now. And also it's Saturday, so it would be only, only right, only fitting to make a little beverage reno, make a little drinky drink. So I used to work in a bar and one of our like go-to shots to do was sour monkey or sour apple where it's basically like this lime green color super sweet like super processed not very alcoholic and it's just like the best like tangy apple sweet goodness and I'm gonna make that into a cocktail I don't have any sour monkey we're gonna use like actual alcohol <laughs> yeah I think like sweet tart apple flavor and like carbonated so we're gonna make that all right here's what we're gonna need for the cocktail we've just got some vodka this is blue duck from new zealand some apple juice it would be better to use fresh but there's absolutely nothing wrong with reconstituted sprite lemon juice if you have like it in a bottle that's completely fine but fresh is better so i just have a big ass ice cube and we're gonna start with our vodka yes i'm in my pajamas and it's like 5 p.m. on a Saturday. This is living. I'm gonna do two shots. So what is that? 60 mils. And then I'm gonna do 30 mils, which is a lot of lemon juice. You can use lime, but lemon is better. Also, do as I say, not as I do. If you have fresh lemon, use it. But can I be bothered cutting up a lemon? Not right now, so. <laughs> also, I've never made this before, so it could be awful. I'll let you know. All right. Yeah, 30 months is a lot. I will. Okay, and then we're gonna do equal parts Sprite and apple juice. The only thing I'm worried about is the amount of lemon juice, but you do, I want it to be like sour, like pretty tiny. So I'm just going to Put in probably like a quarter of a cup and then probably fill the rest of it with Sprite. I hate doing this with nails, honestly. Just garnishing slash keeping it cold with some fresh frozen lemons that I keep in the freezer. Let's try. That's delicious. What would I do differently? Nothing. That's perfect. 10 out of 10. If you make it, tell me how good it is. Let's get into the unboxing. I initially had a plan of getting two very specific things that I have wanted for like years, like more than 12 months now. They've been on my list. I've got a little list. Um, in priority order of when I reach certain financial goals and want to reward myself that I then go and Do just that I got a text from my essay at Chanel being like here is quite literally exactly what you want the material the color The color of the bag the color of the hardware the size We have it for you. And I was like, ah! oh my god. And that was two days ago obviously 
everything is in super high demand. So I took the sort of day to think about it, be like, yep, this is definitely what I want. Obviously it's a lot of money. And I was like, yep, this is what I want. I've worked very hard for this. This money is put aside exactly just for this. Like I can't really call myself frugal because yes, I do spend a lot of money. However, I am so particular about what I spend my money on and I make sure I make myself wait and I make myself work for the items that I get. So it was offered to me and I decided to take two days to think about it. And if it was there when I went into the store, I would get it. I then also wanted some earrings from Chanel, very specific earrings. And they didn't really have a large selection because they'd all sold out for this week. They do, she told me that they do get new stock in every single week. So I was like, oh, yay, don't have to wait very long. Um, so I also put down for the earrings when they arrive and for the bag. So it's going to be a separate unboxing video. So not as planned. I thought this whole video was going to be literally a Chanel unboxing, but that's okay. The second item that I went into the city today to buy, because I have wanted it for the longest time. I've been into Cartier probably three or four times, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, to try this on, get my size, decide if I want it with diamonds, without diamonds, the color and the size. And every single time I've left with the same conclusion, I know exactly what I want, it's literally perfect. It's just me having to think and reflect, do I want this? Will I want this in a year? Is this a good investment for me and what I want? And like, it's a no brainer. So I went ahead and got that. The, um, I had a new sales associate actually at Cartier. She was beautiful. She was so lovely and so fun. She wrote her name down in the information. So I'll share that with you when I open it. So I'm going to be giving you guys all of the details. And then I just like impromptu went into Yves Saint Laurent because they do have something on my list from myself. And I went in there and they had it in my size. So I got it. I tried it on. I was like, love it. 10 out of 10. I also went into Christian Dior because I'm really after some slides and I didn't have any that I liked. I really like the pink lighter colored ones and the essay there was helpful but a little bit pushy. So um, I was like a little bit like a bit overwhelmed so I had to leave. Um, I just sort of like wrote down what size and then I'm going to look on the second hand market for those slides from Dior. I do, anyone who knows me knows how much I love the second hand market. And especially for Louis Vuitton, I'm all about it. I think that if you can buy pre-owned and pre-loved authenticated consignment, do it 100 million percent of the time. As long as it's exactly what you want, the quality is good, and the price is good. Okay, my battery's running out, so I need to be quick. <laughs> and then in here is like this beautiful like present. It's wrapped up and there's like these little wax seals on them. the box looks like oh my goodness that, that battery on my camera died can't be bothered to change it so just continue on my phone this is what of course it of course it cuts out at exactly the moment i open the box oh my god it's is this not the most stunning thing you've ever seen in your life I am so content with this purchase. It is quite literally a dream. It is so luxurious and I am obsessed. In the bag, we also get the Cartier authentication certificate, which looks like this. It just is written in French and dated. And then we also have, this is a tax invoice, just like written up in here. I also have my sales associates card. Her name was Caro. She was so lovely. She was so helpful, so sweet. Could not recommend her enough. Uh, probably not gonna show this because it has my name on it and my address. <laughs> it is stapled in there and it's, it's all signed and everything, very official. And then I just got this, which is like a little cleaning kit and a little brush. Ah! I really was tossing up between the diamonds and the no diamonds, but I think because it's so fine and it's so dainty, that plain really suited it and it suits me and it's more everyday, I think. Ah! Now onto the next thing that I bought. So this was on my list. I've been wanting these for ages. I think they are so cute, uh, but I wasn't planning on going in there today and getting them at all it was just sort of i was shopping around because obviously i had a little sad moment with chanel not having what i was after however i went into saint laurent and i believe this is my 
first YSL purchase brand new. Yeah, I've never bought anything um, in store from YSL before until today. So I got this little authentication. Nope, this is not authentication. This is just a business card and my receipt, my tax invoice. And these are all the rage. Again, I'm a basic bitch. We know these. I feel like there's a reason that things are so popular. Bag. They give you really large bags, actually, at YSL. I want to know why they got rid of the Eve in Saint Laurent. I would really love to know. It's like it. SL instead of YSL. So I'm going to open the box. Okay, I have a tissue. The service here was really good as well. Um, I was served by this lovely asian man his name was can't remember hopefully his name is on the business card no oh yes alston so if you can't already guess these are shoes each one is in their own little dust bag and i really was tossing up between the, actually, no, I wasn't. I initially knew what I wanted, but I tried on the different colors and the different heights and the different styles just to be sure. And I knew exactly what I wanted. And I just, that's what I ended up getting. Can you guess what they are? Oh my good, oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, these are just absolutely it. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So these come in a higher heel and I tried them on and they were beautiful, but I have plenty of high heels. I have all my Louboutins are at least 100 millimeters, so super high. So I thought this would be a good medium sized heel and I think it's so statement. It's, you know, it's chic and it's plain and it's black and it's just evening, but then there's this heel. And now this heel comes in gold. So the whole shoe is black, but the heel is gold. And I love that. I think it really stood out. It was beautiful. But I don't wear gold. And I think the black is just classic. So I opted for the black. And it is super comfy. And I'm super happy with this purchase. So yeah, these are the two purchases of today. I think that'll pretty much wrap up this vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you do like this kind of luxury unboxing shopping content, please do give it a like and subscribe. And leave in the comments what you would like to see next. See you in the next video. Bye.